Hi, I'm Austin Happel. I'm a research biologist with the Shedd Aquarium. I study fish movement in the Chicago River. We've put little transmitters within 80 different fish. Those transmitters make little chirping sounds that are coded and let us know where individuals are at any given point in time in the river. So we're here in the south branch of the Chicago River trying to figure out what fish we can find in the area around us. Microphone, and then all this is just cord in case you're somewhere high, like we're on a bridge or something like that, that way we can get it into the water. And then this is essentially a computer and a DPS unit that will, uh, as this picks up the sound, it will actually decode it and spit out the ID of the fish. So this is the screen for the computer that's listening for fish out in the water. The top left here, it's counting up since the last time it recorded a fish. Here's the time that it recorded that fish at. This is the specific tag type. So this 1604 is one of the small tags that we put in some of our smaller fish. The tag's about the size of a Tylenol or Advil pill capsule. And then this is an individual fish, so 17916. Um, it's gonna be one of our either bluegill or largemouth bass. And then this is how loud that sound is. So this is one of our acoustic receivers, which just means sound listener. At the top here, this part is a microphone, and the rest of this is um, essentially a memory card and a memory chip. Um, and then a battery. And so we can plug in this battery and we put it in this housing, we keep the battery dry, screw it in, and then we have 33 of these placed throughout the Chicago River. We put these in areas that allow us to then track as fish move up and down the Chicago River. We have them under a lot of different bridges because we're able to actually put these on chains and hang them from some of the parts of the bridge that allow us uh, to have it in the water. And then these will monitor uh, all day and all night and all through the winter. So we're able to track fish throughout the entire year. So when we want to get data off of these, we have to go to each individual one. We'll pull it up and we have this key, this key uh, inserts into this spot and turns this into a Bluetooth transmitting device. So we can actually take our phones, our phones will talk to this and download uh, information on what fish were found and when. And so then we can do that to all of our different locations and using the computer we can then figure out how fish have moved throughout the Chicago River. And we've uh, picked up all 80 of our fish on different receivers, meaning they're all moving around. So. Uh, pretty successful tagging operation. Unlike a normal project where we set up like, oh, here's our three main questions that we want to answer, this is more like, let's have fish tell us what habitats are most important to them. And so that's kind of our overarching question. And how does uh, the floating wetlands add to that? Are those habitats that are important to fish? If so, when? Do they go back to them each day like they're feeding off of them? Do they go back just in the spring as if they're spawning? Um, do they use these barge slips that aren't used by industry anymore? Are those now important um, habitat for fish either during spawning period as refuge during poor water quality? Or I'm really interested in what happens in the winter. Winter's a period that's understudied. We can then use that to help augment the habitat in other areas to help these fish populations. 